You are watching or listening to Light Up with Chua, a weekly podcast on conscious living and parenting. This is part four with Professor Ibrahim Ozdemir. Hope you have watched three uh, previous uh, episodes with him. And you have uh, visited my website, lightupbichwa.com. You can send me your comments or feedback. And you can find this podcast on iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, CastBox. And also you can watch it on YouTube and the Groton channel. I hope you are enjoying so far. Um, and please do enjoy part four with Professor Ozdemir. And uh, let me know what you think. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe the podcast, please. And share and rate and review. Thank you. So, uh, Professor Ibrahim, what did you learn in Finland for two years? What can you offer us uh, about them that the rest of us, whether any uh, faith or culture, what can we learn from Finland? Thank you. Uh, I, 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 used, uh, I lived there for two years, almost two years, and I visited Finland before that uh, twice. And the first thing I, yeah, I learned from them, how they have a deep appreciation for life, for life, for nature, for animals, for all human beings. And they respect all human beings and they respect human rights. They don't Although there are some also marginal groups, uh, far right groups, you know, uh, the, the racist groups, but the majority of people, they respect human rights. And the gist of their success in education is their deep respect for the uh, human dignity. Mm. Every child matters. Every child is important. They just, they devised an education system which tries to, 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 to nurture the, the abilities of the child. They say every child has a, you know, limitless abilities. Only we have to help them to, to improve, to bring out these abilities. So they can solve their problems, they can uh, direct their lives. So they, they don't, uh, their uh, educational system is not ideological and it is not uh, you know, uh, uh, backward looking. It is forward looking. It is the, the, their motto is education for the future. But in many Muslim countries, especially if it's not democratic, the, the, the education is based on how their leaders, they are great, how their is history and their nation is the one of the greatest in the world. Well, it, it is ridiculous, you know. Just look at your problems, your economy, your GDP, you see, all this, you know, and this respect for humanity, for human being, is reflected in the, trust, in, in the education system, which, which is free for all citizens, and it, it is reflected in, in the well-designed transportation system, very efficient, and, every, and it is reflected in the health system, it is not like America. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, everybody, yeah. the, the, the education, the health system is, covers everybody, every citizens, even migrants, even refugees. Mm. You see, so uh, it is reflected in many, many areas in, in 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 the life. So you can see, you are as a human being, you are valuable, you are important. Mm. So you, they give the education system give, gives you the the self confidence. You can make a change. In your life, in your society, in your community, in the world community. Okay. Although it is a small nation, yeah. their GDP is so, it is more than $40,000. 40, uh, uh, it, it is a big thing because, as I said, they said we don't have a petrol, we don't have, you know, natural resources like some other countries, but all major mine. Uh, is human being, the capabilities of human being, the abilities of the human being, mm -hmm. and in this respect, they are they are trying they are, they, they are they are utilizing the scientific findings about human nature, about human psychology, about how our brain works. So, if you just you know, uh, then every uh, student just has a, has a self confidence 
they can make a change in the life. Yes. Thank you. Thank you and so they, much. They, it is also reflected in their concerns and res, uh, uh, respect for the nature. Hmm. It is one of the, it is one of the, I think, the best nations who care for about environment, hmm. about biodiversity. Hmm. They also invest in education. Also has uh, some uh, invest in renewable resources. Okay. Oh yes. In, for for the protection of you know protection yes. of animal wildlife and also the protection of using the, uh, the, the, the mines, they have a very strict regulations. Very nice. Good. good. Yeah. So you had good time there. You enjoyed. Yes. yes. You learned. Yes. And you... Yes. So do you think as, that... As, 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 as you know, you know, we have to learn, you know, it is when you look at yourself, not as a professor, as a student of philosophy. Yes. I, could, I present myself as a student of philosophy, okay. learning for learning. Very just nice. you know, uh, today I I just bought several books to read because I am come from Finland. There's some new books in Turkish, I have to read them. Wow. So you know, if it is just you know, you enjoy it is it 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 enrich me intellectually and also I I enjoy reading books. Yes, good. I love it too. I really enjoy. It. Don't you think uh, while you are saying this? Don't you think? Uh, or in your experience, do you think that uh, Muslim in general have uh, stopped being uh, intellectual or, or, or read enough? Although our book of uh, Allah is says to read and that's yeah. how we started. Yeah. Do you feel that we are missing some uh, reading habits? In yes, um, um, unfortunately, we are not good readers. Although in the past, in the history, yes. in the even in you the know, 10th, 11th, and 12th centuries, in 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 Damascus, in Baghdad, in Cairo, yes. in, in 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 Andalus, there was big libraries. You know, I just it said it is all past. Yes. But today's today's you know even I uh, I met some uh, people there in in university. They don't treat outside of their field, yes. their majors, you know. So do you encourage say, that? Do they, you encourage? Sure, yes. sure. Yes. For, for example, some Pakistani colleagues, when they saw my article on Iqbal, they, made, they said, oh, do you know Iqbal? I said, yes. You He's should have said, do you know Iqbal? <laughs> 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 I know Iqbal, but do you know Iqbal? <laughs> Being a Pakistani, yes. Yeah. Yes. Do Islamic environmental ethics align with the much disputed Gaia, Gaia theory? Yes, uh, there is only the difference, you know. The, let me say the Gaia theory principle or principle proposes that living organisms interact with their inorganic surroundings on Earth okay. to form a synergi synergistic and self regulating complex okay. system that helps to maintain, maintain and per perpetuate. The condition of for life on the planet Earth. Okay. You see, so the Quran teaches us that the whole system uh, has been created and sustained by God. So the all interactions, all the connections, interdependence in nature is uh, through the power, wisdom, and uh, you know uh, of God. So we just just uh, think the Quran. Try to teach this in, uh, you know, in in the 17th century of of uh, uh, um, uh, Arabian Peninsula. But since then, uh, uh, when we look at the uh, Islamic history of uh, Islamic uh, history of scientific learning, we can see how Quran shaped Muslim mentality mm. to look at nature, to discover this interconnectedness. Mm. Okay. And you see. So the only difference, it is a very secular theory. It is a scientific theory. It excludes God. But when I look at from my own history, from, from, from my tradition, scientific tradition, I can, I can see uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the problem there. But what is uh, good, we are talking about the same thing, the, the, the wholeness of the system, the interconnectedness of the system, it doesn't matter. They can say it is, you know, we don't ask who, crea who created, who maintains or sustains the system. Mm -hmm. But we say we care about that. Yes, yes. So uh, coming to the, to the previous question then, do you think Islamic environmental ethics could become an established branch of study or is it yes. already? 
Uh, yes, study. it is already already now the environmental ethics and environmental philosophy is a course in, 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 in many universities in the West. Okay. In America and also in, 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 in Europe. Okay. So why not about Islam, Islamic environmental ethics? Yes. And last week, last, uh, last It December, can be established or is it already established? It is already have uh, some uh, university that establishing it. Okay, okay. I, I for example, I, I, I designed a course on, on uh, religion and uh, ecology in, in, in Turkish theological seminaries. Now, um, all uh, religious seminaries are teaching religion and ecology. Okay. So maybe in the future it will be there will be course on Islam and ecology, environment in, in, and ecology, environmental uh, philosophy, Islamic philosophy, etc. Okay. Last uh, December, we have a workshop in, in Arlangen University in Germany about the animal rights, rights and ethics in Islam. Oh. It was wonderful, and the majority of the presenters uh, were women. Wow, interesting. They have, and many of them, they have their PhD or uh, master degree in, in environmental uh, studies. Mm. So women were from the Muslim uh, communities? Yes. Okay. Yes, from okay. Muslim community and also from the West. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. Okay. All right, let's come to the last leg of questions. Yeah. All right. So, um, thank you. First, I want to thank you for all what you have said so far and how uh, you have uh, taken time out for this uh, important topic. Um, my last leg of questions, uh, which I ask everybody. We need to know a little bit more about Professor Ibrahim because we didn't learn. Uh, we know yeah. from your work, that is good. Yeah. But your personally, your approach, obviously, this is a passionate topic for you. And yeah. you work in this, you teach in this. Um, so what is wealth in your experience? Wealth. So sorry. Wealth. Yeah. Yes. Uh, knowledge, knowledge, and my friends. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is the I, value? I am, Sorry, I, I, go am, ahead. I am. I am so rich uh, with regard to friends and my colleagues. Wherever wherever I go in South Africa, in Maldives, in 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 Morocco, I have my friends who can host me at his home or her home. Wonderful. I would love yeah. to host you with my family in Boston. Thank you. If you are Thank coming you. here, please. Yeah. <laughs> you have my, a new my, new my, my uh, message, list. <laughs> my message reach the target. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you. And if you ever visit Boston, well, that would yeah. be wonderful to have you. Oh, uh, you. What is the value of gratitude in uh, your life? Gratitude. Yes, it is one of my key values. Hmm. I, I, I never forgot anybody who made a favor for me and as or uh, you know tradition and or religion teach us who don't uh, thanks it's not great grateful to god it also will not be grateful to people i also when somebody is just not just forget you know to be gracious or to be grateful i just feel sorry hmm. it is a key it is to to come out or selfishness and you know to 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 connect us with our friends, connect us with the, our colleagues, connect us with the society, connect us not to be cre grateful only to human being, even even to be grateful to to to, to the animals we are li living together. Okay, uh, can you uh, define uh, in your life or uh, describe what is the value of time? I understood the value of time better in in, in Finland. Hmm. How is that? The, it is time is real is a treasure for them. They aim, it is they are so you know uh, let me say uh, uh, they respect time. If if you miss your uh, appointment two 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 minutes or three minutes you're gone. Oh okay. Yeah. So you yeah. like that? Yeah, I like that. Because it is in, in, in Ramadan, you cannot uh, break your fast one minute earlier. And it, all it's, it is Islamic prayers, they are regulated through the time. But, you know, yes. uh, even there was a uh, Finnish uh, a, a friend who uh, married to a Finnish woman. When they are making appointments, 
the wife will uh, would ask it is uh, Finnish time okay not Amer Arab time ah <laughs> yes Arab time is like, <laughs> like has I, too much I, flexibility I, 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 appreciate, I appreciate my time I I know the the, the importance of time I am trying to my best to to use my time wisely okay and efficiently yes so what is the suggestion for uh, the Arab world or any world around the world <laughs> about time? <laughs> Have you encountered difficulties in our Muslim communities about time? Is, I think it is all, we have, uh, again, you know, we have a lot of, uh, you know, it is a difficult issue really. It is, mm. uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of implications. Yes. In, in the, you know, in, I, I visited Egypt, Morocco and uh, Iraq and Syria. There's many people there just, they, they, they Take are it just easy. Trying. They are killing time uh. because they don't have the education system or education system. It's, they, they didn't teach them how time is important, how time is valuable, mm. how they can use time to, 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 to make a change in their lives. But isn't it contradictory for Muslims that we have this book, we have prayers, we have Ramadan that teaches everything about time and respect. And then as uh, nations, as communities, we are not really practicing that. And why have we lost that? Why I are we all, missing that? All, all perception of Islam and Islamic values is very superficial. Hmm. It doesn't go deeper. Yeah. So we need it to work on that. In, in our psyche. Mm -hmm. Be part of our side. So we got distracted. Yes. We are still distracted, you think? Yes. Hmm. It's a major problem for us. Do you have any suggestions how to come back to it quickly? This is, you know, Muhammad Iqbal wrote a book, Reconstruction of Islamic Thought. It was all about this, you know. When you, look, you read this book, it, is, it talks about this, about how, the, how to understand the movement in the nature Oh, the, uh, the, 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 the value of time. What is the time in Islamic philosophy? So it is not an easy subject, yes. you know. It's yes. a whole issue to understand your perception of nature, your perception of yourself, mm. and your perception of time. Yes. They, all, they are uh, interconnected. Yes. I, I, I... yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, do you believe in the afterlife? I assume you do, but I still have to yes. ask you. Sure. sure. What can you define? What even, is in even, your mind? Even my, even, even my secular friends, they don't want. They want to. They don't want to be to, to be nothing after the death. Hmm. For example, in, in infinite again, they visit their graves, their cemeteries. You see, they have a feeling something is there, still there. They say, you know, this this is why you know. It's, 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 of course, it's a difficult issue, but. Uh, I, I do believe in the hereafter. So you think this is the temporary world, but we have to make yes. good out of it yes. in order yes. for us to yes. transfer to the next world? Yes. Okay. Inshallah. Inshallah. What is the purpose of your life at this stage? To discover my abilities, to be a good person, to be a good person. This is why I am still reading, why I am still traveling. I always try to improve myself. My life, you know, there is some timeless values, you know, common values in Confucianism, in Buddhism, in Islam, in Christianity and Judaism. There is some core values. It is the same about the moral values. Hmm. I'm just trying to, 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 you know, to make my life meaningful within this context. But this, but this values is is discovered and also understood by myself. Hmm. And be, I just try to make them to be a part of my my, my psyche. Mm, mm. Yeah, this is why I care about. It is a moral imperative for me to 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 uh, to, to be interested in the environment and also future generations. It is a moral obligation. If I was a selfish person, I would I would not care about future generations. I would even would not care for my family. Mm. There are many people they don't care about their families. They don't care about their children's children. Okay. But we have this is uh, important for me to be a moral, moral integrity and moral com uh, compass is very important for me. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Any message of hope? Yes, hopelessness uh, uh, is to limit God's power. If you believe in God, 
and lose your 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 your, your hope, it means you limit God's power to help you to make mm. a change. Mm. So I always I ha- I have hope about future, about all potentiality to make a change. Mm. This is why I'm striving. Mm. This is why anybody who lost his hope who can commit suicide, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. This is why existentialist philosophers, they say, uh, suicide is also an option for you, mm. if you can. But I don't believe in this philosophy. You see, when I met Mr. Mandela in 1989, he told us uh, why I don't l- lost my hope in the prison for uh, 29 years. Because one of the prisoners, in the, in, in one of my uh, colleagues' uh, prisoners was, uh, inmates was a Muslim. He said in the Quran, Allah says, don't despair God's mercy. Don't despair God's mercy. So if, if there is God, so there is always hope. Yes. Thank you. Thank you You're so right. much. Thank you. Um, before my last question, do you think or do you take an interfaith approach in your work when yes. you go for uh, lectures or in your teachings? Yeah, the, because, you know, uh, we, we discovered we are on the same boat. Yes. You know, we are, the, 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 the environmental problem is not a problem for Muslims or for Christians. Yes. It's a problem for humanity. It's a problem for all living creatures. Yes. So we have to work together. We have to understand each other. In fact, when we began to talk on environment, we discovered how many uh, how, how much in common we have than we think. But all the you know daily political problems, economic problems is 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 a barrier to to reach each other. Mm. But less uh, less uh, uh, less uh, politicians they do their job and we do our job. Sure. Less us. There are many. I am amazed with, with when I, I I I have a lunch with Dalai Lama. And many young uh, young um, uh, young people from uh, f- f- uh, from the West or from from US ask intelligent questions to him. How and how he, he replied to them. So you see, they are le- they are learning from each other. And also, I, I I met many Buddhist and Hindu and also Christian Jewish friends. They say how they learn from the Islam. Uh-huh. Islam. You know, can can you imagine in in nine in ninth century, tenth century, eleventh century, Muslims were learning from the uh, Christians in in the in 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 Damascus in 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 Baghdad, yeah. but in 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 Andalus in twelfth and thirteenth century, Muslims were teaching to the Christians yes. and Jews. Yes. You know, they, 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 uh, there were always interchange, in, you know, connection. Yeah. Exchange. Know there are, yes. There are some political people in the Muslim uh, in the Muslim. Uh, uh, countries and societies, they are against these things, but we, I also respect them, I try to understand them, but always we have such people in the history too. Yes, yes. so we have to move along with them. Oh, we have yes. to communicate, yes. I have to dialogue with yes. the animals. Yes, yes. With the, you know, with the universe, why I neglect dialogue and uh, yes. uh, interaction by my, with my fellow human yes. beings? Why should we limit ourselves? Yes, why? Right? why? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. All right. My last question, which I ask everyone, yes. what lights you up? What? Lights you up. It gives you hope, uh, more, more like what lights you up when you... Yes go out of the house into nature, yeah. your children, family, what lights you up? What gives you a new, a new, a new book, a new friend, and uh, 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 what is new? Everything is new. And I just tried to, when I met and I read a new book, I said, what I can learn from this? When I meet a new uh, friend, a man or a uh, woman, I just say, why I meet this? Ah. What it means for me. Right. So that makes you happy? What what yes, what what I can learn from her or him, not to teach him or her ah, first. Okay. What's come okay. to my mind. Okay. This is in this way I have a many friends, you know. Uh-huh. In my during my life, during my walk and you know, wherever I go, I just uh, I just return with new friends. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Because you're open. You're yes. open to yes. possibilities. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Very good, very good. 
Thank you so much for your time, Professor okay. Ibrahim. I Good really luck, appreciate please. And I hope to keep in touch with you. And please uh, let us know about your uh, summit, your conference in Oslo next week. Okay. Wish you all the best for that. And uh, uh, thank you and Khuda Hafiz. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.